I understand the, uh, we're recording, so it's 8.35 in the morning on June the 4th, so we'll call to order the meeting of the Joint Insurance Committee. Members absence are Sylvia Fleming and Jackie Ames and Linda Leasley at the moment. Other First order of business is approval of minutes of December 4th, 2014. Is there any comments, additions, or corrections? Seeing none, considered approved. Item number three, information from vendors. We don't have anything specifically being presented today, but um, our United Healthcare rep is with us this morning. Is there anything we need need to share with us? I don't think so. So pretty slow. Right pretty slow. It's summer slow at the moment. Um, Item number four, we'll move to that, is information from the Employee Benefits Division. And we have our standard reports contained in your packets under these sections. Overall, I'll just make a broad statement. We are running claims-wise spend, dollar spend, about where we were last year, year-to-year -year look back. Um, so that's pretty good for us as a entity on an overall. Uh, we did make some modifications in that our some part of our population has again migrated to the HMO plan a little bit higher than what it was in 2013 and 2014. So that's part of the, what's driving some of that spend on the HMO side. Um, and on the indemnity plan side, we did implement the Medicare Part D employer group waiver prescription drug plan. So that will have an impact on the retirees that are Medicare eligible, 65 and older set, their, their, their drugs. It's early. I know a little more than what's in this report today because I just saw a report this morning that we're, we're doing okay. But I'll, I kicked it back to Express Scripts because I need some more information from them. But I do intend to see that we're going to hold the line on the prescription drug spend. So those. Um, that's what I anticipate to fall out. We've only got through April expenditures in here, April to May. Um, and then the other pr programs are very steady. And dental had that rate decrease, so that's what's driving that one, not the membership. But, so overall, broad, broad, broad stroke. We're, we're pretty stable in 2014 as compared to 2013. Okay. Rate renewals come in around July 4th. Our, our world will warm up. And so then uh, hopefully it will be good rate renewals. <laughs> so um, anyway, I have no clue, no clue right now because all the carriers are just now have pushed March pretty much to the system, that, what, what they're going to pay. So for them to write, to, to rate right now, they're a roll in 12 months. They don't have much history. So their projections so are going to be squishy. So let's give them a couple more months and we'll know more. January 1, 2015. And I'm sure we'll negotiate those a little bit. And maybe, you know, another month click off of a claims to get a good number. But we, we need to settle our number early August as the lead time for the open enrollment publication and advising all our collective bargaining agents what we're going to, where it's going to land and all that business. So um, that's the next big event for employee benefits. Those rate renewals all come in. Other than that, I didn't have anything else to share today. Anything from Commemor members? Okay. 840, five-minute meeting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your time.